All right, what's up you flow nincompoops and welcome back to a new video. Um, this is gonna be a very short video about the VX, VS Code extension on Flow. Um, I've seen a lot of questions about this in the um, in the Flow Discord about people not being able to set it up correctly on Windows and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do a super quick video on like how I've gotten it to work for me on both Mac and Windows um, and Linux systems. So um, first of all, what is the VS Code extension? Well. It's basically a way for you to code Cadence um, in your, what is this? Okay, uh, apparently the Flow Playground has some updates. <laughs> so I guess we'll get into that in the next video. But um, <laughs> that was weird. This is great, okay, anyway. Um, so back to the point of the video. So basically the point of the VS Code extension is that you can um, code Cadence like you do in the Playground in VS Code. So like, for example, if we're on the playground and like I make a thing here, it'll come up with an error. Well, these errors you can have pop up in your VS Code as well. So if you don't like coding the playground because sometimes it's buggy, you can do it in the VS Code uh, extension. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, a terminal here. Um, now, one quick thing, I, I uh, actually I'll get into that in a second here. Um, so let's go ahead and just open up VS Code. Um, and let's go ahead and do this. So it's going to launch my VS Code. Now, one thing you're gonna have to do in order to um, get the this to work um, in VS Code is you're gonna need a the flow.json file. So first of all, you know, obviously if you don't have flow installed at this point, then um, I would go back to previous videos, but you know, this is assuming you have flow installed and there's a version number that comes up when you do that, right? So what you can do is type in flow init um, and you can run the flow init command and then it'll create a flow.json in your VS Code. Now, once you do this, you can actually start uh, making some Cadence files. So if I make a new file called test.cdc, and let's just do like pub contract test. Um, and look, so if I type something here, like publet um, uh, hello be a string, it'll actually say like, hey, you don't initialize this, right? So it'll say missing initializer. So boom, it's it's actually giving us live errors here, um, which is really cool. And I can even say self.hello equals like hello, right? Um, and then the error will uh, effectively go away. So that's one way, you know, that's basically how you would do it. And it's very simple. Um, but like, how did I get this to work? Well, number one, you need the flow.json file. And number two, you need to install the VS Code extension. So if you go to onflow docs.onflow.org slash VS Code dash extension, and there's a lot of complicated stuff here. But if you scroll down, if you copy and paste this command, flow cadence install VS Code extension, if you copy this, and paste it into your terminal. Um, I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again, but that will essentially add an extension to your VS Code. So if we go to the extensions tab over here, we'll see that um, Cadence is installed um, and that will get automatically installed for you if you run that command. Um, now, sometimes people have also mentioned that if you, if you look up Cadence yourself, another one comes up and you can install this one as well um, if for some reason the previous one isn't working. Um, so there's also this option, but it should get automatically installed and be all fine when you run that command and it should be this one right here. Now, if you're on Linux or Mac, that will work completely fine and there will be no problems. However, on Windows, there's a common error where the path name is wrong and let me show you actually that right now. So if I close my VS Code extension, if I close VS Code and do CD documents, let's go back to the same directory I was in. So I was in YouTube slash uh, VS Code test. Um, let's clear and then let's just, let's open this. So code dot. What's gonna happen when it launches this is it's gonna say error over here. So let's wait for the error to pop up. Um, let's exit this out and let's go into like test at CDC or something. Uh, for some reason it's not, okay, yeah, here we go. So you can see, uh, oh, let me move my camera. It says cadence language server failed to start, um, error, whatever, and it shows a bunch of these errors. Now, for some reason, if you notice, it's because the path that it's trying to use is not like a, a, a Windows path. So it's not recognizing, it's, it's, it's not recognizing it. Um, and so the way to solve this, or at least the way that I've solved this, is I use WSL instead, which is basically Linux on Windows. Now, I'm not a tech guy, so I don't really understand what that means. Um, but essentially, if you install, so we can even look it up together, install WSL, uh, you go to Microsoft Docs, and if you follow this tutorial to install WSL on your system, um, I believe you'll be you'll have to like install Ubuntu and stuff like that. But um, if you have WSL and you you follow these steps correctly, then what you can do is you can open up a new terminal. So I'm using um, I'm using the Windows terminal, so I can select like my different uh, you know prompts here. Um, and if I actually go to Ubuntu, um, which is essentially WSL, then if I cd to to my my folder again. 
um, do VS Code tests. So let me actually close this close this one out. Um, and if I launch this from um, from WSL, then it will work. Um, now there's one extra thing you have to do in this case um, to, in order to get it going. So if you go to extensions and you look up, um, I believe it's called remote development. So if you look up remote development, you'll have to install this VS Code extension if you're using uh, the Linux or WSL terminal, or sorry, the uh, Ubuntu or WSL terminal on Windows, you'll have to install this remote development extension. And then when you do that, um, and you do code dot, or you open uh, you know, VS Code from the WSL slash Ubuntu terminal, it will um, automatically start the Cadence language server, as you see on the bottom right here. Um, so that's a quick uh, how to do it. Um, I guess a short recap is, if you're on um, Mac or, or, or whatever, um, you know, I guess whatever system you're on, you have to do two things. You have to uh, do flow init to get a flow.json, um, name your file .cdc, and then also um, install the VS Code extension um, by doing this step right here, flow cadence install VS Code extension. And then if you're on Windows, you have to do a couple extra steps, um, which is to install WSL and to, um, you know, install the remote development uh, VS Code extension and then launch it from your WSL slash Ubuntu terminal. So I hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, and also I guess we're going to have to talk about this new thing in the playground. I have no idea. This is crazy. Um, but anyway, thanks very much uh, for listening and I'll see you in the next video.